want to show you something that probably not too many of you have ever seen before. I know I have not ever seen this before. Um, these are radicchio here, the bigger ones, but these little ones here, the whole row of seedlings there, that's dandelions. And they don't look like anything like when they get bigger. And you might be saying, what is this crazy lady doing growing dandelions? Well, I found out they're really good in salad, and also I want to make some dandelion wine. And I didn't think that they grew here because I don't ever see them. I see what's called false dandelions. But anyway, somehow they've eradicated them out of here so much that they're not here anymore. And I bet you at one time they were here, but they're not anymore. Um, and I have a couple bigger ones in my yard, or I mean in my garden, that are doing really good. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but they definitely grow good here. That's another thing I was thinking is, well, maybe from the heat or all the water or, you know, the dirt here is like very filled with water most of the year and then it'll dry out like in the end of summer to where there's no water and it won't rain, you know, and it gets so hard and it cracks. But my garden soil is different because I've, you know, worked with it so much and it, that does not happen in there even if it dries out everywhere else it's still nice in there and they are growing like a dream in there okay here is one of my dandelions as you can see it is doing very good and it's not flowering right now but it was earlier in the summer and i ate the flowers <laughs> and they were really good too you know what's funny is when i was little i used to um <laughs> you guys are going to think this is so funny. But I used to pretend I was cooking outside. Which is funny because like when I got to be about 11 or 12 or something like that, my mom did let me cook, you know. So I don't know why I was doing that. It was like I loved it so much that I couldn't stop doing it. And even when I would play, that's what I was doing. But, um, yeah, I do love to cook, I guess. I guess I always have. Um, but yeah, my mom used to tell me though, when I was little, she was like, you know, she was like, don't you eat those, they're poison, you know, she'd tell me, don't you eat those, you know, but to me, like they smelled so good, like the flowers, I never really smelled the leaves, but I would smell the flowers and they smelled good to me, like it was something that I would want to eat and it turns out you can eat them and you can eat the whole plant, you can even make a coffee that's not really very good it doesn't have any caffeine in it which totally just rules it out in my in my life you know <laughs> i love my caffeine so um but just kind of an interesting thing there that the way people perceive things you know a lot a lot of people i know you know think organic food will kill you they think it has parasites and bugs and those things will harm you more than pesticides well you know they don't realize you know pesticides what they do is they don't they don't cause anything per se what they do is they kill living things and your body has um, a lot of microorganisms living in it that help you fight off disease and fight off parasites and fight off fungus and they do the same with plants they help plants fight off diseases and so the pesticides aren't directly causing a cancer or causing any disease but they are killing your body's defenses they don't just kill the pests I hear a dove they don't just kill the pest in the garden. They kill all living things. So, and you know, and they're not, they're not specific. I mean, they, it's what they're meant to do is just kill things. So 
that's why they're not good and what's really not good either you know I'm sure there's people on here from other countries but here in the United States over the past decades we have tried to eradicate the most harmful pesticides at least out of our food market and what happened was the you know the farmers you know just basically you know those crops that they use those on they can't grow them here because there's no other way to control whatever pest it is that they were trying to control so they outsource to other countries well what's messed up and this is especially true of china i mean they're so bad and you know i'm not trying to rip on china or anything but they don't have any regulations of anything that's why they were sending us dog food with basically rat poison in it a few years ago and was killing all those dogs because they don't you know and they said it wasn't intentional that you know they had rats in the dog food plants and they were just putting poison down everywhere and somehow it got in the in the feed but you know they really need they really need to start china needs so so much help like getting healthy it's not even funny but i mean they i think you know they're just really misguided i think i don't know but you would think you know they're sort of like a superpower you would think that they would figure that out but maybe they just don't care i don't know but anyways you know when when we outsource for these different crops that we can't grow here because of these outlawed pesticides the most harmful ones we import them from countries where they can still use those pesticides so that stuff is still on our food and so it's kind of crazy i mean it's a lot of it is in grains you know and i mean just in everything you know and it, it grosses me out i mean when i see people feeding their kids non-organic food i just have a heart attack <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you're feeding your kid poison, literally, you know, and you don't know, you know, and it's like the FDA says, you know, that we can handle a such and such percent of this pesticide or poison or whatever, you know, and it won't, won't harm us, but you don't know the like distant in your life ramifications of screwing up your microbiome like that constantly and now it's raining so I have to stop talking I did want to say one other thing and I forgot what it was um today it's my birthday and I'm 50 years old and so obviously that's why I've lost my mind that's why I can't remember the other thing I was gonna say oh man okay but if I remember I'll make another video